We're on campus today inside United Supermarkets Arena as these two teams get ready for tip-off momentarily. Lady Raiders come in at 8-2 and two on the season. Abilene Christian is 7-3 and three on the year. And these first four minutes of this first quarter be very important. And that is something right there that Marlene Stalling stressed. Uh, as we saw in practice, shoot around, things have just gotten a little bit more intense. And that's exactly what Abilene Christian wants to see. At, at least she executed there like her coach wanted her to do. Here's Goodson from downtown, and Sydney Goodson has an early five. She is a uh, kind of 2013-58-57, a couple of Lubbock products, as Chrislyn Carr dials eight from long distance and hits the three by ACU, and here comes Carr again. She's trying to feed Sydney, who bobbled it just a little bit and that kept her from going inside. Here's Chrislyn with another three. She's got two of them here in the first quarter. She'll feed Sydney. Oh, just a little bit of a backward pass that she wasn't expecting. Back out to Carr from three, and again, that's three threes for Chrislyn Carr here in the first quarter of play. Go averaging 7.3 points a ball game, trying to get her minutes up. She averages about 15 minutes of ball game. Her and Brewer on the floor for the first time today. And there with the three ball was Josie Larson. By comparison, through 11 games last year, they did 22 at 20 or more. Here's Brewer with a left-handed shot there. That They're doing a better job of forcing more turnovers than turning it over. And Tech has struggled in that regard. They've, they've been giving up four more turnovers per ball game. Sanders with the rebound. She won't put it back up. Instead goes outside to Goodson, who has it nestled through the net there for the Lady Raiders. But when you have a 25-point lead, it allows you to be a little bit more aggressive. Goodson hits another three. By, by Erica. ACU has turned the ball over four times in the last 425. Texas Tech, five of five in free throws. Zero, she was a terrific three-point shooter in junior college. Goodson. Make that. And yep. here's Brittany Brewer with a three. Because there's not been a whole lot to rebound, but Sanders has six, and Brewer's got six. Duque, Lady Raiders employing Sanders, who puts it up and in off the pass, along with Brewer, Goodson. Uh, and then taking off, and we almost had another one there. Go lightly over to right. She likes to take the three and hits it. Sanders saves it in the corner out to Goodson, and they'll kind of reset the deck. Here's Carr. She's wide open for a three, and she'll hit it. Wright's three won't go. Carr with the rebound. Outlet to Erica Sidney. Let's see if she can get one to fall. She does. Lady Raiders with seven turnovers after that one a moment ago. There's another three for the Lady Raiders. Keep going, uh, you know, uh, being up by so much. Uh, but they, uh, for sure the coaches don't want them being sloppy and not executing. So being 10 of 13 is outstanding for the freshman who's just a bundle of fun to watch. Three is up and in for Marty Miller. And she's had a nice day today. Scholes with the rebound. Give to Kristen Carr. Lay up good. Fast. She's, she's, as soon as she sees that the other team's turned it up, she's gone. And she's getting easy buckets. Three in the air is up and good for Marty Miller. Yeah, well, one Here's step. Castaneda from three. Let's see if she can get it. Maya Castaneda. And Erica Sidney is thrilled for her. And kind of stuff, like, there's, there's no time for the coaches to be trying to motivate you and all that kind of stuff. That's got to come from within. Tiha Stoisavlovic. For every game now. I told her because uh, she, she asked me if she owed me any money. I said, no, you don't. You don't owe me any money for that. For Larson, and that will do it here this afternoon as the Lady Raiders get their ninth win of the season against two setbacks, 105-54, to 54, the final. We'll come back to wrap it up next. You're watching Texas Tech TV on Fox.